Hey, what's going on, y'all? Um, I'm gonna do another video on uh, just a little ride in the trails and everything, off road and everything. Uh, pretty much not no uh, speed runs. Like I say, I'm not really dressed for that. Um, doing that high miles and everything. Like I said, the highest I went was uh about 60 miles an hour. That was on mode four. One of the days when I um grab a helmet, maybe a jacket or something, you know, I might can uh, go on mode five and do a little, uh, see what I can get. But I'm pretty much riding almost up to 70 mile an hour. I believe I can go on this bike and everything. So I made some updates to it, uh, to my battery. And I'm gonna show y'all what I did and then we're gonna go for a little ride. Also, I'm gonna show you what me and the boys did to the trails um, behind our um, house and everything. Um, we trying to make it a little loop. So we enter um, behind the abandoned warehouse, go through there, and then we're gonna try to loop it back to be on the other side. So I will show you um, that. And also I'm going to show you what I did with the, um, as far as my battery fitment in the frame. So as you can see here is, um, <clears throat> I had put some Velcro right here. And also I put Velcro here. Um, so I opened this triangle bed, I got the battery out and, um, I'm going to get, out, get, um, back out right quick. So, and I just put some um, Velcro and I put some padding. And when I when I did the padding, it made it more, um, um, I guess, bigger as you could say. So it fits in this frame snug instead of bouncing all over the place. When even though I had, um, even though the battery was protected, but I just added some padding here. And now it's very rigid. It doesn't bounce all over the place when I'm riding off road. Um, like I say, the shock is a little concerning. Um, probably won't be doing too much of a high speed crazy jumps and you know so but yeah I noticed that when I was doing high speed I might have to go ahead and upgrade this this wire this is I think this is 8 gauge I might have to go down to um, like a 6 I think um, it was getting warm it wasn't warm right here but just just from here to the controller was a little warm and that was going that was um putting almost 10,000 watts um, to the hub motor. So I'm going to get the camera strapped. This is, um, I think some of the subscribers, the subscribers was, um, saying that, you know, saying how I'm recording this video. And I do have, I'm have a GoPro on Lelway and I'm trying to get it. Just got to save us some money and get out Lelway and everything. So hopefully I have some decent good riding videos, but yeah, it's my cell phone. Um, and if I want to know what it is, it's a, a Galaxy uh the s22 ultra okay so anyway there's me and you see over there we're gonna go right down there we're gonna shoot through the um the sand and then we're gonna and then we're gonna go through the trails so let things scrap in right quick go ahead and get it scrapped in and uh, all right, thanks all scrapped in. Hopefully it won't be jugging, uh, jumping all over the place. And we're gonna just do that. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat's so freaking uh, itchy. Okay. I guess what, we got 100%. Oh yeah, I did get my charge in yesterday, so whew. I'm so glad I got it in because this thing was almost at 30%. So, all right. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, do some riding.
back brake still not working good. All right. Wow. Boy, Power Assist 4, man, it's a man to handle out here because the throttle is so, it just, it's, I, I, I don't know how to say it, but man, it's really responsive. It's just like a, like a supercharger you know i mean it's 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 twitchy like a hair trigger Woo! but anyways um so as you can see um out that way that's the road that goes to our house there's a railroad track that goes back that way and this is a this is how far we got right here and we're going to go ahead and extend it about this way Oh my God, my bike is so dirty. I gotta wash it. Um, so we're planning on going that way and loop it around because, like I say, from right there, there's a a railroad track. I hope y'all hope y'all saw the video and everything. I hope it wasn't too too jumpy. Um, trying to uh, you know go through these trails and everything because one move, man, you you. You're gonna wrap yourself up in the tree. <laughs> so, so that's the trails that we're gonna make. And um, I know we're not gonna be come out here today and make it because if you look, it's it's about to rain. It's getting cloudy already, and it's raining every day here in Central Florida. And uh, and we have tropical storms out there by Puerto Rico, so. It's it's gonna be pretty dicey. These smart sims are very, very good. They have very good traction. Don't really slip at all like the stock tires that come on the axum. The front shock seems to work okay. Definitely need to upgrade it. Hold on. 
Cause I know I know the view was bad. The view was bad on it. Let me see something. Okay. Yeah, I'll go right here. Oh man. I don't know what made me go this way. Low hanging branch. Oh. <laughs> Okay, let's go back up this way. Should have stayed in my own pathway. Okay, here we go. It's probably too much power for this trails. That boy, that one makes it more fun. It gives you that arm pump. Holy cow. I haven't ridden a dirt bike this in a long time. Brake seems to work good, but I know I need to upgrade to bigger rotors. Man, that was nice. That was nice right there. Good riding. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Really don't have that uh, many trails to go to. I'm gonna go home and wash this darn thing.
Man, my arms hurt. That was some good arm pump right there. Ugh. All right. Let me take this off right quick. First thing you want to check. <laughs> I mean, we did some hard road riding. Hub mode is not even hot. Wow. Okay. Okay. Batteries in good shape. I mean, haven't moved. So I think that's a that's a win. Let me know what y'all think um, about the riding and everything um, um, in the comments. So, man, awesome bike. I advise y'all to get something like this. Hub motor. It's heavy, but man, you'll get used to it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So, well, this is your boy, E-Bike Life, signing off.